There you go. That's that grouping. So I got those in. So we got these, these, all this. Now we're going to do this up in here. Now, before we can go further, we need to take measurements. Uh, we have this location, which is the mantle and actually where the wing starts. So we have this established. So this is how I create this edge of the wing as it comes down. I already have the first one. This is the first X right here, which is what we did before we established that. So I'm going to come along this wing and I'm going to measure one inch down and then I'm going to measure out to the belly at that time and it's going to be one inch down and a half inch in from the belly so let me try to show you i'm going to get this in profile i'm going to come in down one inch so i'm lining my ruler up as if it's laying on the table not laying it down totally and i'm going to put a dot right about here and then I'm going to measure in a half inch. Boy, I got pretty close there. So I put an X there. Then I come down from that point, another inch down on my wing. And the wing is this. It's this one right here. Let me just darken that up for you here. This is what the line of action we're trying to create. So from this X, I'm going to go down one more and I'm going to measure down an inch more and put a dot. And then if I take a measurement there, it's three eighths from the edge. So I keep the bird in profile. I come over here to the edge and, and I, let's make sure I'm all perpendicular, I mean uh, in profile, and I put a dot right there. Did I get that right? Hang on, let me check myself again. right there okay and then we do one more which is another inch and then I'm shooting for it's about a sixteenth from here to here so it's a little more than a sixteenth but I'm going to measure down an inch then put a dot and then come in eh, maybe a little more to 16th, which will end up down here. And I'll put an X. And then we measure from here to the end. And that would be a distance from here to there, which is about five eighths. So I come back five, from that point, I come back five eighths, put a dot. Okay, that is the end of the feather right here. So I want to get that wing in this line here. So what I'm going to do is draw an arc, but it's not a big one, it's like a flat arc. So I'm going to lay. Boy, let's try that again. I'm going to lay my pencil here and just do a nice arc right on through. Hitting these points. And when I get down to this one, you can see it sort of levels off. And these are, it's almost like a straight line over to this one. So that's mimicking this one here. So that is the edge of your wing. 
Okay, let me just check myself out again here. Yeah, so I got the right measurements. I got three eighths in there. Do I have three eighths in there? Yes, I do. Okay, so we're coming through here. So that is my wing configuration right here, which is this line right here. So hopefully you can see that and I didn't get out of the picture here. Okay, now we have what I call these coverts. They're just the uh, little feathers in there. So I'm gonna measure from that point in the beginning here and I'm going to measure down and it looks like it's uh, about seven eighths put a dot right there and I'm just going to draw this is like a little arc right here so I'm just going to come in here and just arc this around right through there now what I'm going to do is do like little C's I'm going to put a C here and then I'm going to piggyback that to the middle then I'll put another one and if you notice I get a little bigger each time not real real big so you don't want to get too crazy because these are really small feathers then I'll put one in here and they sort of piggyback off and you can get them in like that okay so we'll throw one more in there right in there like that now we have these feathers here which are going to come along the edge of the wing Oops, excuse me and i'll measure that down and that is about seven sixteenths down so i'm going to come over here and measure seven sixteenths down and put a dot right there. It's gonna be from this point down. And then they're about the feather from here to here I'm measuring, and that is a quarter of an inch. So I'm gonna measure from the wing up, the wing line up to here, and that's a quarter from there to there. So this is going to come down to that 7 16 mark and then turn. And that's going to ride. I'm going to get rid of these X's here so that you don't need that anymore. You need just the line of action for the wing. Okay, so I get that one in. Now, if you notice, they're maybe a 16th apart. And they're uh, probably a little bit more than an eighth of an inch. So I'm going to come in here like this. And if you notice, this has a little more of an angle down like this. So I'm going to come around and mimic that, which is a little more than an eighth of an inch, maybe about five. Uh, three sixteenths and then I'm going to do one more which is a little bit closer and then tucks in like that okay so that completes this grouping right in here plus we have the coverts up in here now uh, we do have this line of action here which uh, has to go out this way. Notice this is going in this direction and these are going up in here. So they're gonna end up aiming out this way. Okay, so I uh, have about uh, is that a quarter of an inch maybe more it's a quarter so and it turns 
right here. And then it gets wider as it comes up. But it doesn't get, it maintains a quarter here, but it gets wider as it goes up. So that's your first feather. Now the second feather piggybacks off of that, which comes down off of here and turns. And this is coming up to that straight line that we had here. And if you notice, these get wider again, thinner back here, but wider up here. So I come out uh, maybe 3 16 and then come back where they're really tight, maybe within a sixteenth and turn. Then you have from that one, you got one, two, three, four, five. So each time I'm going to get a little wider up here and then bring this down and they all piggyback real tight off of each other here. So I throw that one in. I throw that one in, and let me clean up this X back here. This comes along here, and I'm going to throw this one in here. And if you have a little bit of space, that's fine too. You can make that the last feather. You can ad lib a little bit. If you have a little more space, you can add or you can subtract. We're just filling in the areas here. If I wanted to, just so I could help you here, I could actually bring this in faster and then bring this one in faster. And then this one that comes all the way up here, I could keep it a little bit tighter than I had it and get that one in. And then let me clean this up here. Let me put this existing one that was there. And then this one would duck under that one. And that tucks in here. And then you got this one right here. So that is your grouping that I want to try to do. Now I'm going to ask you to do the exact same thing on the other side. And then when we come back on the video I would like to see this on this side and that side which I will prepare and it's just the opposite whatever we did this way we're going to do this way so to save and expedite time I will draw that in and on the next video we will start uh, I'll show you how to relieve it so uh, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen here I hope you got something out of it and if you did I would ask you to subscribe and give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.